Hi, Ben here, and welcome to another Work in Progress Wednesday. So we're upstairs in the workshop where we normally have our coffee breaks and we get to use some of the furniture that we've made over the years. So both me and Lois used to make a lot of greenwood furniture, so coffee tables, winter chairs, stools. So it's really a nice opportunity that we can have a coffee and use some of that furniture that we made all those years ago. So some of you might have tuned in last week and saw that we were working on a special series of knives that all had tapered tangs. So Lois has been working on the sheaths and I've been working on the knives and we finally finished them off this week. So we thought it would be a great time to show you what we've made, all the excited handle materials that I've been playing around with and uh, yeah, show you how that you can actually find them on the website. So when we do make knives and we have them on our available now page, we want to show you how to actually find them. So yeah, let's have a look through some of those knives and some of the handle materials. So the first one that we've got is a Woodlander four inch classic and this is a sort of homage to Bob Loveless. So this has got polished green canvas micarta with red fiber liners and you can really start to see that lovely tapered tang. So the stock thickness is about 3.4 mil and then it tapers down to about one mil at the back end. So lightens the overall knife, especially when you've got heavier handle material like uh, Macarta on there. And this one has got stainless steel loveless bolts as well and the polished flat so you can really start to see the, the logo showing up. All of them have got a Scandi grind all of them have got a square spine as well, so you'll be able to use it with a fire steel and things like that. So that's that's a really nice classic looking knife, and that one will come with a nice Orford tan belt sheath as well. Obviously these are all right-handed sheaths that we've got on display, but if there's anybody that's left-handed, we will be able to make a left-handed sheath for you as well. So the next one is a little bit different. I've just started using this stabilised what we call double dyed masseur birch. So I've been using masseur birch or Carolean birch as some people call it for quite a few years and I really like the look of it but this one has been dyed when it's been stabilized so it really sort of accentuates the grain to it. You can almost see the ripple to it. Now this one's got the same tapered tang, same stock thickness as the other one but this has got real dark maroon G10 liners so nice sort of subtle color now some people say what are the liners for? The liners act as a gasket material so obviously sealing the any kind of water or dirt ingress, ingress between the handle scales and the tang but more than anything it just works like a nice picture frame around a, a painting it sort of emphasizes the whole look of the knife. So this one's got brass loveless bolts and this one's going to come in a nice charcoal black belt sheath with natural colored stitching so it should emphasize that really nice dark sort of bluey green handle that it's got. Now this is probably one of my favorite handle materials. Like I say, I've been using this for a few years, very typical on Scandinavian knives. So this is traditional non-dyed masseur birch with these lovely dark flecks that you get in it and really nice ripply grain to it. And we've gone for the classic sort of red liners, I call these letterbox red, really, really bright red. And I think that colour really looks good against the blonde, sort of golden colour of the Masso Birch. So same stock thickness, about 3.4, polished flats and razor sharp Scandi grind. Now this one's got stainless loveless bolts. I don't normally use stainless loveless bolts, I mostly use brass, but I think this silver look really sort of goes with the birch it makes it look a really really classy looking knife. Now this one again comes with the conker brown or Orford tan uh, leather sheath and again with the natural stitching. Now this one's a little bit of a different one in the lineup so somebody had asked me whether they, I could do a sort of classic acid stone washed finish on the flats as well as incorporating a tapered tang. And I didn't think I'd be able to do it, to be honest, because it, it sort of mixes two different techniques. But I had a little experiment and it worked and I really like the look of it. So it's slightly stripped back, obviously, because you've got that dark flat, the dark flats, it doesn't sort of look as shiny as the other knives, but you've still got that nice taper to it. Now I haven't put liners in this one. So this has got no liners, but it's got a blasted green canvas micarta handle. So this gives a better grip if you're going to get very sort of if it's going to get very wet or you're going to be using it in extreme environments. I think that sort of blasted finish on the micarta gives it a really good look. 
Okay, slightly different with no liners in there, but this has got the brass loveless bolts, like I say, acid stone wash flats, and this is still a 3.4mm 01 tool steel as well. So that one's kind of classy. This one's a little bit different as well because we're going to offer you uh, a Kydex sheath for that, and you've got the option of adding a charcoal uh, leather belt sheath as well if you wanted to. So I tend to use the Kydex on the more sort of tactical knives. So if you're going to be using it in wet environments, then then the Kydex works really well for you. Now this one is probably one of my favourite native British hardwoods to use. So this is English elm that I've stabilised and you get these lovely sort of feathery grain to the elm. And elm makes a fantastic handle material. It's very split resistant. The table that the knives are on is made out of elm. It's traditional for sort of furniture because it's very split resistant. And I think this just looks Rick's looks really nice, especially with those little feather, feathery grain in it. Now this has got black fibre liners to it, lovely tapered tang to this one again, and then we've gone for the classic brass loveless bolts on that one. So that, if I was going to pick a knife, that would probably be my choice because it's nice British hardwood and it's just got a real nice mid-brown colour that goes really nicely with the Orford Tan leather belt sheath as well. Now this one is a little bit of an oddball. The guys that have tuned into last week's video, you'd have seen that we'd got this 4mm thick, non-tapered tang woodlander. So this has got stabilised English U handle scales and with blue G10 liners, which is quite a striking look. And when I make them out of different steels, I tend to mark the steel type on the actual inside of the tang so it's not too sort of in your face, but I know what it is and you know what steel type it is. Obviously the 4mm stock makes a very hefty blade, so if you want to use it for sort of splitting wood or you're going to be taking it for some real extreme bushcraft, then that's a real good stock thickness to choose from. And the English U just looks really nice. We've got this lovely rich colour to it. This has got a few pin knots in it as well. And then we've gone for the lovely uh, brass loveless bolts on that one as well. So slightly different to the others, but we thought we'd put that in this selection that we've got available just because you would have seen it being made last week. And that one's got another Orford Tan belt sheath with it. So that's the six that we're going to have available on the store. So these six special woodlanders will now be available on our website. And a few people have said, how do you go about actually finding the knives on our, on our website? So we'll talk you through it. So if you click on the home page, the page will open up. Now directly below the home page button, you'll see the word store. If you click on that, it'll open up the category pages. The very first category is the available now page. So click on that and you'll see what we've got in stock ready to go. And that's basically what it means. The things that we've got ready and we can ship the same day are all on that page. So you'll see these special knives, you'll see some one-off stuff that we might have made, some special leather work that Lois might have made in stock. So it's all there ready to go. So we thought this would be a great opportunity for you, the viewers, to get the first opportunity to have a look at what's on that Available Now page. And if, you, if you're if you not already following both myself and Lois on Instagram, it's a really good opportunity to see things that we're making so you get a heads up of what's going to be on there. So I am Craft Lab Knives and Lois is Craft Lab Leather, so you can click on those and follow us on Instagram. And if you're not already subscribing to the YouTube channel, please click subscribe and you'll see exactly what we've been working on. So hope you enjoyed seeing this special batch of knives come to life. I've certainly enjoyed making them and I know Lois has enjoyed doing some leather work. Um, some really nice grainy leather that she's chosen for these sheaths. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed seeing these come to life.